Coach, I don't like to ask people to make predictions before a season, season's even open or practice is even open, but you got a better football club than you had last year. I personally think so, Jack, and uh, and I'm uh, to the point uh, I don't want to be too positive about it because something could always backfire, but uh, I feel pretty certain of this. I don't know about the record-wise, but uh, I'll tell you one thing. Uh, we're going to lose a lot more gracefully than we did last year. If we lose a football game, uh, it's going to be pretty tough. Coach, you've done just about 180 degree turn since last uh, year when we talked at this time. Last year, Maryland was going to run the ball an awful lot and going to pass only just to let people know that it still existed. This year, you're talking about passing even up to half the time. I think that had a whole lot to do with what we had last year. We had last year, uh, Dennis O'Hara, we had principally a fine running quarterback and uh, and we had people who could run the ball pretty good. In fact, uh, until Thomas got hurt, he and uh, Miller were both in the tops in the Atlantic, top 10 Atlantic Coast Conference in rushing, and uh, and uh, we rushed for a record or two in the conference, And uh, I, but we found out that wasn't enough. And we've got to throw the ball a lot, and uh, we have been, uh, in uh, Jeff Sugars, I feel, a fine thrower. And uh, he's not the threat to run the ball that uh, Dennis is, but he's certainly a, uh, a very fine thrower. I think he's a good one. He's a pocket passer in the classic sense. Well, he's a he's a drop back passer. He is not the uh, well. He wouldn't be a very good sprint out passer. Now he can throw from a sprint out, but he is not a great runner. Although he has pretty good speed.